Oh boy, Quinn Ewers has entered his name into the transfer portal. This means a lot of things, and in today's video, I want to discuss who he is, what the options are for him going forward, and what this means for Ohio State football. But right before we get into it, nearly 80% of you guys are not subscribed, and we're on the road to 100k, so quickly be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button for the algorithm, and turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload. Now, let's get started and talk about Quinn Ewers. So Quinn Ewers is one of the best high school football prospects of all time, and he was the consensus number one ranked quarterback and player in his class. For a while, it looked like he was gonna go to Texas as he actually did commit there, but once Tom Herman left, Ewers reopened up everything and decided he was gonna go to Ohio State. He obviously loved Ryan Day, the Buckeyes culture and everything going on there, so it seemed like a ball and glove-like fit for him. Then we got an absolute shocker. Ewers decided that he was gonna enroll early at Ohio State and join the team for fall camp. This was a surprise to many as he bailed on his high school team and many wondered if he was even ready for the college world. Well, Ewers is smarter than we think as apparently he signed hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of NIL deals. So instead of playing his senior year of high school, he decided he would go take some money, go play for a good program and develop and get coached in a good system. That ended up happening. For a while, there were rumors that Ewers was not learning the playbook very well. And that honestly seems to be what happened. He ended up appearing in one game against Michigan State where he walked in, handed the ball off twice and then left the game. This was a big deal for everyone as at least he got on the field, but since he did not play in four games, he had the ability to redshirt. CJ Stroud became a Heisman contender this year, and I remember back when Ewers committed, I said that Stroud would be in hot water and the pressure was on him to deliver. Maybe he did enough to scare Ewers off, as it looks like Stroud is at least gonna play one more year. So why would Ewers leave? Then we found out that Jack Miller is entering the transfer portal, and he was a former blue chip prospect as well. That left Ohio State with CJ Stroud, Kyle McCord, and Quinn Ewers. Obviously Ewers was gonna be the backup next year because he's better than McCord, but I think he saw the writing on the wall. Last week, we saw a kid by the name of Devin Brown commit to the Buckeyes. I remember getting a text from my friends and I immediately told them that Ewers was gone. There's no reason to bring someone in like Devin Brown if you already had four quarterbacks on the roster and Brown had many opportunities to go to different schools, so the fact he went to Ohio State means that he thinks he's gonna be one of the next guys there. Ewers obviously saw that and he decided to enter his name into the transfer portal tonight. If I was a betting man, which I'm not, I would put all my money and the future of this channel on the line and say that he is going to a Texas school. It's reported that he's considering Texas A&M, Texas, and Texas Tech, and part of me thinks he's gonna make a triumphant return to the Longhorns. Another major reason why I believe he left Ohio State is because Stroud will be the starting quarterback next year before he likely goes into the 2023 NFL Draft, and that leaves Ewers in a tough spot as he will be eligible for the 2024 draft and he will have missed out on two of his first three years of playing unless Stroud were to get hurt. Honestly, Texas makes so much sense as he is a legend in the area, was originally committed there, and he could go play for a great coach in Steve Sarkeesian. We all saw how much the Longhorns quarterback struggled this year as Casey Thompson and Hudson Card battled it back and forth and they didn't have anyone besides those two on the roster. So Ewers can come in right away, battle it out and likely start. From there, he'd play two years from the Longhorns before he'd likely go to the NFL, and he could both have a better legacy and more playing time. We all said the same thing about Spencer Rattler, though, and maybe Ewers will never go to the NFL. More than likely, he's going to be an NFL prospect and an NFL star. Texas A&M is also another option, as both Haynes King and Zach Calzada didn't exactly live up to the hype this year, and while King got injured, Calzada just wasn't that good, and A&M has been recruiting really well, they play on a ton of primetime games, and they're in the SEC, so Ewers can honestly go there and be a star. Texas Tech, I'm sorry. I love the Red Raiders, but he has no reason to go there. They are going to be in a rebuild, and Texas Tech doesn't have the lights and glamour that a player like Ewers would wanna to go to. Who knows though? What do you guys think though? What's gonna to happen to Ohio State? Where is Ewers gonna go, and what do you think of the whole situation? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section, smash that like button if you wanna to support today's video, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.